you know what radiation is? Um, I don't know. No. Um, I don't know that. It's the electromagnetic waves off of atoms, I think. Radiation is the transfer of energy through either electromagnetic waves or through particles. Radiation is energy that comes from atoms. Radiation is when the, um, the energy from when atoms break apart. So there are two main types of radiation. The first one is ionizing radiation. And that's when the atoms get so excited that they split apart. And so that's ionizing radiation. And then there's also non-ionizing radiation. And atoms stay together, but they just kind of wiggle around. Well, it, um, it comes from like atoms and um, it, it can hurt people if you get too much of it. Radiation can be harmful if you have too much of it. Do you know what has radiation? Well, it's in candy. Candy has very, very, very low amounts of radiation. No more than what's already inside of you, inside your bones and your blood because of the carbon. And bananas and salt. <laughs> and I don't really know what it is. Bananas do have radiation. The potassium that's found in bananas, also in potatoes, that does have a radioactive element, but it's very, very small. Bananas, salt, and plates. So there are certain types of plates that have radiation because back in the 1960s, a company used uranium to make their plates orange. Luckily, they discontinued that type of orange color, so plates you buy now wouldn't be. Salt, plates, um, computers, chairs maybe. Salt does have radiation too, but it's in very, very low amounts. The sun and microwaves and a lot of other stuff. Not everything has radiation, but a lot of things. Like the ground, there are certain rocks in the ground that have radiation, and then we're also constantly getting radiation from the sun and from the stars. Do you know what nuclear power plants produce? They make electricity. Energy. Energy. Nuclear power plants generate electricity by the use of a nuclear reaction. Um, electricity. A uh, bunch of it heats the water that also doubles as a coolant to um, make steam which goes into the turbines which power the generators which make a ton of electricity. The nuclear reaction takes place when the atoms of uranium are split and it's split in a process called fission within the core of a reactor. Once the fission takes place it produces a lot of heat that heats water to generate steam, kind of like a tea kettle. The steam is then shot up to propel the turbine, which then turns the generator to produce electricity. Do you know what a regulation is? <sighs> Don't know either. No. Something that is regular. It's kind of like a law. It's a rule established by the government. Rules that you have to follow, I think. Yes, that's right. A regulation is a rule that you have to follow. A rule enforced by uh, authorities, kind of like the law, but it's not. Uh, regulations do have the force of law, and our licensees and other people who have to follow them uh, are required to follow them and can uh, be assessed penalties or other uh, notices of violation if they don't follow those laws. The NRC does have a lot of rules. The NRC has two volumes of regulations that we keep in these books here. Do you know what the NRC does? <laughs> um, it makes electricity. Um, produces electricity. No, the NRC does not make electricity. The NRC does use electricity, 
What we do is we set regulations for the power companies that make electricity, and we make sure that if they're making it from nuclear energy, that they're doing it in a safe way. Uh, um, they manage power all the power plants, plants and how they work? No, the NRC does not manage power plants. We set regulations for the people who manage power plants. I think they actually help other people in different countries. The NRC has domestic responsibilities, so we're responsible for the nuclear power plants and the use of nuclear materials here in the United States. And we did step forward and we did help Japan during their March 2011 nuclear incident, we sent folks over to Japan and, and in other ways supported that country. Um, makes keeps people safe from over radiation. They make all the nuclear power plants safe. It makes sure that um, that nuclear power plants are safe and don't leak radiation. Well, they can um, make well with the power plants and stuff. The power plants produce like um, power and stuff, so they try to make sure that everything's safe. Protects people from high levels of radiation. The NRC does keep people safe. We have regulations and we inspect to make sure folks are adhering to those regulations and the idea is to make sure that people who are using nuclear energy or nuclear materials uh, use them safely and keep people in the environment safe.